this is Zach on time for. I've lost control of my. Oh, hey, Mr. Mills. This is Mills. You're done running, Trey. Come on. I told you we should have put in an electric fence. Richie, what's good? Oh, Officer Burke, what's with this new cell? The whole one's not available. Just kidding. Doing a little renovation. Are you ready for your visitor? What'd you do? Nothing this time. I, I swear. I told you, hang with the wrong people, you're gonna get blamed for stuff you didn't do. Oh, sis, I ditched those guys. Then what, are you stealing again? No. I honestly have no idea why I'm here. Don't tell Miss Joy about this, okay? Well, you better get out soon. You miss her birthday and you sleep on the porch. Sleep on the porch, I know. Two minutes! Look, I know we've got it rough, but this doesn't have to be our road. We can be different than Dad. Yeah, maybe. Hey, before I go, your pilot friend. Name is Jackson, right? Yeah. What's up? So, Mr. Tracy Friedman. Trey. Oh, um, Trey. <laughs> uh, what exactly is your relationship with Daniel Jackson? I met him a few weeks ago. What is wrong with you? What? You froze my credit card. Because you're out of control. How do you spend $900 on lunch? It's more than my jet fuel. I'm out with D right now, and I told her I would pay. Watch myself. You're so selfish. You never think about anyone but yourself. Selfish? Huh. You wouldn't think so if you had a job, instead of sitting at home all day spending my money. Pretty amazing, isn't it? It's all right. Is this seat taken? It's all yours. So where are you headed? My dad's funeral. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, well. We ran with the wrong crowd, so that's what happens. Where are you heading? I'm flying to New York, but I'll be back later tonight. Pilot. Is that a cool job? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I always wanted to just try flying. You want some lessons? I mean, to look like I have money. It's on the house. 
Good plan. I'm serious. I always wish someone would have done that for me. Well, thanks, Mr. Just Dan. Dan Jackson. Trey. Are you doing that for me? That's super selfless. Yeah, selfless. Tell that to my wife. <laughs> Seriously though, can you tell her? Feels like Soren from Epcot, right? What? Never mind, you're doing great, kid. This is amazing. Makes you feel alive. So you're aware that Dan Jackson died of a plane crash, yeah? Yeah. What's that got to do with me? Well, we recovered the plane. We found that someone tampered with the oil compressor. The plane was sabotaged. Dan Jackson was murdered. And you are a suspect. M me? Why? Look, it's just me, my, my sis, and Miss Joy. But, but Dan Jackson gave me a chance. He was teaching me how to fly. Why would I kill him? Oh, well, gosh. Right? Yeah. yeah, when'd you learn about the will? His will. His will. Mr. Jackson wrote an addendum on June 1st. <laughs> hey boys. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I put a GoPro on the plane. You gotta see his face. It's hilarious. Funny. Dan, can we speak about this? Give me a sec. So you won't give me a dime, but you wanna give him a quarter million? I thought you wanted me to be less selfish. Dal, honey. $250,000. He writes you into the will, and then three days later, he's dead. I mean, that's strange, right? Yeah. Now, Mr. Jackson told you about adding you to the will prior to his death, correct? This will stuff is news to me. I, I never heard anything about the will before now. It says here that you received your private pilot license on June 2nd. Is that true? Yes. And isn't it also true you were hesitant to fly on that day? Great. Trey, this is Mrs. Abel. She's going to conduct your test flight. A kid? Test flight? <laughs> you're going soft on me, Dan. Eh, it's an understatement. He's from Mangrove. I so say you're a foster dad, too? Trey, you're more than ready. Give us a sec. What's going on? You love flying, don't you? Yeah. Well, this is just like any other flight. Something's gonna go wrong, okay? Something always does. Don't be dramatic, Trey. That's easy for you to say. You're not going up. Trey, you have a good attitude and good work ethic. And that's a choice you made every day you walked in this hangar. Now we got to this point together. You know, you choose how far you can go. You up for this, kid? I'm planning on dying on the job today. I'm good. Piece of cake. Ready for takeoff.
to say. I'm impressed. I've never seen a kid from your side, Tim, do anything like this. Never a dull moment, huh? What'd you expect? It's mangrove. I don't know. I was unconscious. Those are serious issues with your plane. And I take full responsibility. Who else should? But don't take it out on the kid. What are you kidding? I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for him. Yeah, yeah, I saved your life. But did I pass? Yeah. <laughs> of course you did. Get that plane checked out, Dan. Today. Will do. Unbelievable! So what was the issue with the plane? So the starboard engine overheated and then started smoking. Miss Abel testified you were nervous, hesitant to get on the plane that day. Actually, I heard you say something will go wrong. Yeah, I, I was nervous. But not because I sabotaged the plane or something. I didn't say you sabotaged the plane. No, but I see what you're doing. All right, how stupid would I have to be to get onto a plane, you know, knowing that it had a messed up engine? Well, you did know the issue beforehand, so you know how to fly and correct it. Hey, but why would I risk wrecking a plane that I'm supposed to inherit? <laughs> okay. So now we're going to backtrack, and you do know about the will. No, no. I'm saying if I knew about the will, okay, like you were saying. Tracy, stop wasting the court's time. You know Daniel had more than one plane. Where were you? The day of the wreck. Don't leave anything out. I went to Mr. Jackson's house. Mr. Jackson! Wanted to invite him to dinner with me, Hazel, and Ms. Joy. You know, thank him for all he'd done. It was weird. The door was open. And he and his wife were fighting again. Everything all right, Mr. Jackson? Just living the dream. You got a girl, Trey? Smart. You're a smart guy. Then we hear something coming from the garage. So, what did you see? A guy. A big guy. Uh, okay. Well, Mr. Jackson told me to run, so I ran. So you ran all the way home and didn't stop anywhere? Yeah, I ran straight home. You get home, 
you don't stay there. No. I get home. Miss Joy? I'm home. Miss Joy had a cake and everything. She wanted to celebrate the new license. That's why you're the best. Don't forget it. You're celebrating me next. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, your birthday, right? Tracy Freeman, you forget my birthday and you'll sleep on the porch. Just over an hour ago, a plane crashed off the coast of Palm Beach Island. Although the cause of the crash is still unknown, the plane has been identified as flight E-10-4, a private jet owned and operated by local Air Force veteran Major Daniel Jackson. Palm Beach Police Lacey and Wells. Coast Guard are on the scene, diving the wreck site, searching for clues to reveal what, what are you doing? happened. Good evening, Miss Joy. What do you do at this time? This train here, we're just letting you ask me some questions. Ray, about what? Don't. Was he here? What, uh, what is this all about? Is the boy here? They arrested me for no reason. No. They arrested you for running. Yeah, like I said, no reason. Innocent people don't run. It was out of habit, I guess. Okay, I'm not normally innocent. But a guy was chasing Mr. Jackson. The big guy. Why don't you talk to him? Thank you for your time, Mr. Freeman. Prosecution calls to the stand Stella Jackson.